party people it's your boy rico with another amp video so did you guys watch my previous video remember that video where i talked about That's good. It's it's Evans. So you guys remember that video? Sometimes, you know, when the cigar starts to get small, the heat increases. And also the smoke starts to get into your face. So one way to keep smoking, especially if you got a good cigar, is to add it to a pipe. So you guys remember when I was talking about Flex and Network possibly becoming merchant agnostic, where I said, hey, if they can do something where they would be merchant agnostic, POS agnostic, then it wouldn't matter whether or not the store accepted crypto. You can just go in and it's all done in the background. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys see how big something like this could be? Where it doesn't matter if the merchant takes it. Now think about applying that another level. We'll bring it up another level. We've heard people, you know, they talked about, hey, when's are they going to make a partnership with this company? When are they going to make a partnership with that company? When are they going to do a partnership with this company? Whiskey and cigars, one of the best combinations. So, if we take it a step further, and then we make it so that it's online agnostic. Now imagine the possibilities. How many of you guys have been calling for a partnership with Amazon? It wouldn't matter anymore. How many of you guys are calling for a partnership with Target or Walmart? It wouldn't matter because if you can create a system where... It is online agnostic. This all starts to become a possibility where it doesn't matter whether or not the company takes crypto. So this involves Flex and Network probably working with some sort of major financial institution like Visa or MasterCard. And there's some rumors that they've been in talks with both of these companies. And those guys already have the network setup because they would need a whole bunch of licenses to be able to do something like that. And they're at about 20 plus, but these other companies would already have them. Plus they have all the merchants. So it would make sense for Flex and Network to be working with some sort of company, financial institution in the background. And then Flex's part would be to making it possible so that they could pay with cryptocurrency regardless of the merchant. And something's telling me. I know you, some of you guys hate hearing this. My gut is telling me that Flexa Network is working on something like this. And only time will tell. Until next time, guys, peace out. Safe investing.